Here we are in the beautiful, remote, younger hinterland. We're here to collect, with permission from the Queensland Government, some founders, the freshwater turtle, the Irwin's turtle, to commence a captive breeding population for security purposes, so that if the worst should happen, we have the ability to step in and this amazing turtle will continue to exist in the wild. We were incredibly lucky that day one, we were able to start finding turtles. Even more luckily, we were actually able to find male turtles, which exist at much lower numbers than female turtles in this stretch. Erwin's turtles are going to be one of the best looking turtles in Australia and easily enough to tell them apart because the females have got an unusual trait known as hypomelanism. Now what that means is that the females have a bright pink nose, a white and yellow face and that extends all the way up on top of their head. And the males, they may have a bit of a yellowy orange head, but they are significantly smaller and they've also got a much larger tail. So these two are very easy to tell apart. Most turtle populations in Queensland are suffering from low recruitment. So there's aging adults and there's no juveniles. And that's a problem for species like Irwin I. This species has been evolving in an extremely stable ecosystem. And unfortunately, several projects in the area, including damming the river, has meant that the ecosystem has changed quite dramatically, which would put pretty devastating amount of impact on these species. Now at Australia Zoo, we have a range of turtles and tortoise species, but the Irwin's turtle is quite special to us, given the fact that Steve discovered the species. So we thought what better place to house these guys than at Australia Zoo. All right, so we've just returned back to the zoo with our Irwin's turtles and we are about to release them into our purpose-built facility. Now for 18 months, we've been planning the design and the construction of a freshwater turtle conservation facility at Australia Zoo, specifically designed for the Irwin's turtle. So we have biomechanical filtration, UV sanitation. The flow of the river has been replicated We've also mimicked the temperature, so we have heaters, we've even got retractable shades to give these guys exactly what they need. So one of the things that we need to do now that we've got our turtles here is get our zoo vet to come and give them a good old checkup and just make sure that absolutely everything about them is as good as possible. So the plan today is we're going to catch them up, weigh them, microchip them grab some blood if we can, and then we'll x-ray them, and then just a general check over and anything else that we need to do. Hello, buddy. Buddy. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, there you go. Oh, how cool is this? So this is one of our boys here, and he has an all gray head. So the guys try to get some different coloration on him just to show the variety of colors that they come in. It's so exciting. All right. 1.25. First health check done. Check this guy out. G'day. <laughs> Look at that. Hello. Look at that little smile. Oh, that's so cool. Isn't that epic? Well. Now we have done our three boys. We are now on to our female turtles. Now, these girls are a whole lot bigger than the boys. The boys only grow up to be about a quarter the size of the females. And what's really exciting is that they might have eggs. They might be gravid with little baby Irwin eyes, which is so exciting. We have everything crossed that they're fertile and we can have a nice insurance population of Alsea Irwin eye. All I'm sure I can feel eggs. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> well, well, we'll see. We'll you on it. <laughs> oh, I like that. No way, seriously. <laughs> 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 That's amazing. Oh my God. Just full of them. <laughs> we really don't know that much about the Irwin's turtle yet. And while there has been research being done over the last 10 to 20 years, there's still so much left to learn. But we're also hoping that with all this new knowledge that we find, we'll be able to apply that to helping the wild population as well. And we cannot wait to see what happens in the future. Oh, three out of three. All gravid. Woo! 
This is best day ever. Seriously. This is awesome. 47 eggs. Female number one, 13 eggs. And the last two each had 17. Grand total, 47. I'll say our Irwin eye eggs. Now fingers crossed they're fertile and hopefully we'll have little baby turtles soon. Nice work, sweetheart. You did so well. All right, let's pop you back and grow some little baby turtle eggs. <laughs>